Hey there, thanks for joining me today. The moon is in Leo, and as I was sharing yesterday, that brings a little bit more feeling of movement, uh, sharing, shining, expressing, having fun, a little bit more playful from the um, deeper feelings and energies moving that we've had for much of this week as the moon went through cancer. So today I'm going to share with you three ways to unlock your creativity with the moon in Leo and we'll have a little bit more fun today. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for uh, Friday. September 27th. And so yesterday the moon went into Leo following the Cancer moon time of feelings and needs and things that are moving inside of us. And then with the Leo moon, we have this opportunity to express, to move those energies outward. So uh, get get dancing, get singing, get creative. And uh, because we are in a, a Virgo moon cycle, we are, of course, focused on self-improvement, how to be your best self and learn and grow and step into more fully into your highest potential. And so there's a humility with Virgo, right? There's an opportunity to... Uh, recognize what you have not yet become that you can become. And so stepping into that greater self that you are here to become, not that you weren't perfect already, not that there's anything wrong with you. It's just that in your perfection, you get to continue to learn and grow and expand into your true self. That is why you are here. So as we think about with this theme for this moon cycle with that began with the Virgo new moon. We're thinking about how we can learn and grow and step more fully into our potential. And so with the moon in Leo, we're doing that through, through expressing ourselves creatively. So with this theme of creative self-expression, sometimes, especially with that Virgo energy, we can notice what we are, uh, maybe don't, don't, we're afraid, right? Maybe we're afraid that we're not good enough, that what we have to express or our creative work is not going to meet the standard that we are hoping for or that we will somehow fail. So, the, so those kinds of themes can come in with that self-critical side of Virgo. And of course, your creative self is here to be creative and there is nothing wrong with you and you do have something to share. So let's talk about how to access and unlock those creative avenues of self-expression for you and what that might look like. Like if you get, uh, if you're working on a project, trying to access your creativity and you feel stuck get a little bit of writer's block or don't know what direction to go. Maybe you created some time to work on it and now you don't know what to do with that time. So uh, let's look at that. And I've got here three, uh, really three ways to think about how you might unlock your creativity or to think about it differently to help you access uh, some of these opportunities for for being who you are and expressing yourself. And these are really uh, very similar, but three different, maybe three different angles of the same thing. So, um, so number one, if you're feeling stuck or not sure what to, how to find or tap into your creativity, um, think about it as uh, something that you're going to have fun with. So be playful. It should be fun. And when it is fun, you get to really tap into um, your imagination, uh, creative possibility, expanding from, you know, building upon what you already know and expanding through that sense of playfulness into what you might want to explore. Just like a child is playful, 
tap into that child childish right be childish that childish sense of playfulness and having fun and following what you're interested in curious about ready to explore and that brings us to number two which is use this time to explore and experiment you don't have to come up with the greatest thing ever <laughs> and once you take that pressure off of yourself you might find that uh, the process itself can be really fun and so get that first draft out you know splash the paint on the canvas sing those notes even though you don't know where they're headed um, and so explore, experiment. It does not have to be good the first time. Give yourself permission to be whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be. It's not about being good. It's about exploring and experimenting because that is the path to discovering what is what it is that you're creating, what is inside of you that wants to have that fulfilled expression. All right, so again, these are kind of different versions or different perspectives on the same idea, but number one is be playful, have fun. Number two is explore and experiment. Don't uh, put pressure on yourself for it to be a certain thing because the more freedom you have to play and to try things, the more uh, you get to figure things out, right? This is the process, the creative process. And then number three, again, another version of this same idea, and that is let go of your concepts of time. And this is a big one, getting outside of time. We have this human expectation of what we're supposed to accomplish in a certain amount of time. We work with deadlines. We have calendars. We have a day planner, right? So maybe you block out, you know, your your one hour, your two hours or whatever it is, your day to work on creative projects. And then you feel like you have to produce something by the end of that. So let go of the whole time thing. Play, have fun, see where it goes. Once you let go of something needing to happen within a certain time frame, uh, you will discover, you know, there's so there's a world opening up um, in that. And so, uh, you know, I know for myself that getting outside of time <laughs> means I have an expectation about how far I will get on something in a certain amount of time. And when I let go of that, um, a, I may not get it done in the timeline that I think, but B, I get it done. And that's because um, I'm I'm following the flow of the process in, instead of trying to artificially put myself into a structure that doesn't work. So maybe that sparks something for you getting out of outside of time. So the three ways to unlock your creativity, see if these resonate for you or what ideas you may have um, that these might stimulate for you. I'd love to hear them. Um, number one is be playful and have fun. Number two is explore and experiment. Number three is get outside of time. Let go of artificial constructs of time frames and structures that may not work for you. And, you know, maybe you like time. Maybe time works for you. You don't have to give up something that works for you. But for some of us, we need to uh, think about things in different ways. And that helps to unlock our creative ability to produce things or get things done. Um, or discover, right? Discover on that path of creative process and playfulness what, you know, what we might do just for fun and what that might lead to. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, what this sparks for you and um, how you are engaging in your own creative process and supporting yourself in your creativity and self-expression. I'm Marina Orms, and you can learn more about me and how to work with me and discover more about your own chart. Uh, check it out, astrologyheals.com is uh, where you can see how to sign up for an appointment with me. And 
I so appreciate you being here and hitting that subscribe button. I am grateful for all of your support and I will see you next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. Bye for now.